All right, going to show examples of the Illuminati all-seeing eye in Roman Catholic churches. You see, the Roman Catholic Church is not a Christian church. The Roman Catholic Church is a religion of pagan idolatry. It is nothing more than just Greco-Roman Babylonian mysticism repackaged. It's full of idolatry, graven images, and false images of Jesus Christ and statues that they bow down to. Is again, pagan idolatry. It is simply repackaged Greco-Roman pagan religion and Babylonian mysticism into Christianity. They took pagan Greco-Roman Babylonian mystic traditions and tried to Christianize them. Hence, all the widespread idolatry within the Catholic Church. And they prayed around these idols and all this other stuff. It's just, again, they'll claim they're not idolaters. But yet, they prayed around idols, kissed pictures of Jesus, kissed pictures of Mary, kissed statues of Mary. They are pagan idolaters. I'm going to show examples of this Illuminati all-seeing eye in Roman Catholic churches. You see, Revelation chapter 17 and chapter 18 clearly identify the Roman Catholic Church as Mystery Babylon. And these Illuminati all-seeing eye symbols further show examples of that. The all-seeing eye of Horus. So here's a first example I'll show. This is at uh, St. Anthony of Padua Parish Church. This all-seeing eye of Horus is at the church, right on the front entrance. Now they call it the Eye of Providence, but we know uh, from history that it is the all-seeing eye of Horus, the Illuminati symbol, right on this uh, St. Anthony of Padilla Parish Church, right there. So when you walk in the front entrance, they have that all-seeing eye, right there. You know, they put it there for a reason. They're symbolizing who their god is. Now here is the next picture. This is at St. Jean's Abbey. I believe this is, uh, I think it could be in France. I forget where exactly where it is, but this is St. Jean's Abbey. So you have the altar to their pagan god, and then you have the all Illuminati all-seeing eye right on top of it with the veil coming through the veil, sort of like the Antichrist will, with the Illuminati enlightenment around it. Satanic symbolism right there subliminally for any Catholic subconscious to see. Now here is the next picture of the uh, this is the illuminati all seeing eye of horus at the parish church of saint james the greater again you have it on the front entrance with these uh cherubs these angels basically these cherubs uh around the illuminati all seeing eye with the enlightenment surrounding it of course these are not biblical cherubs okay uh biblical cherubs do not look like babies i'll put it that way but Roman Catholic Church does not paint biblical cherubs. They don't make statues of biblical cherubs. But they have the Illuminati Enlightenment surrounding the Eye of Horus. Or as they call it, the Eye of Providence. Which is not even a biblical, not, not even biblical right there. Making a, making a picture of the Eye of Providence. Uh, so you got that picture right there. Again, on the front entrance of the Catholic Church. Why is the Catholic Church displaying these all-seeing Eye of Horus images? Because they're showing who their god is, Horus. You know, Isis Horus set, the Jesuit symbol. Now here is the next picture of the Illuminati all-seeing eye of Providence on a church in St. Petersburg, uh, Kazan Cathedral. Uh, again, on the front entrance with the Illuminati enlightenment surrounding the all-seeing eye. The, Lu the Luciferian false enlightenment that blinds people to the truth as per 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Actually, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 to 6, and 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 to 15. Now, here's a final picture I'm going to show. This is actually at a Jesuit church. Uh, this is actually at a Jesuit church right here with the Illuminati all-seeing eye with the Illuminati enlightenment coming out from it. Because the Jesuit order, they are Illuminati. Okay, the Illuminati was started by a Jesuit. The Illuminati is Jesuit ran and Jesuit controlled. And you have that example right there of the Illuminati all-seeing eye at a Jesuit church, showing who their god really is. So those are just a few examples of the Illuminati symbolism in Roman Catholic churches. The Roman Catholic church is satanic, it is demonic, it is not a Christian church, it is a pagan cult, plain and simple. And the Roman Catholic church is Mystery Babylon of Revelation chapter 17 and 18. And they're full of Illuminati symbolism because they're showing who they really worship, Isis, Horus, and Set. And then you got Diana of the Ephesians, or the Queen of Heaven from Jeremiah chapter 44, verses 17 to 25, as their goddess. So don't be deceived by the Roman Catholic Church. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.